Welcome to the series of being offensive with Azure Cloud. So in this series, we are going to see what are the different types of attacks or what are the different components, what are the different uh, services are available within the Azure Cloud, which can be uh, misconfigured by a developer or any person, uh, which can help help an attacker to perform any lateral movements or to gain uh, remote access within the server, within the cloud server and how default configurations which is which is the default configurations can also lead to escalation and uh, get some more uh, privileged uh, permissions from other users and how and how uh, the feature abuse thing how we can abuse the feature of different services to gain access tokens or to jump to, or to hop from one server to another and a lot of different things that we are going to see uh, and not just attacking but also we are going to see a bit about the defense stuff as well and how you can automate your uh, scanning process how you can create your own custom tool as well to per to look out for those specific things that you want to look uh, about the APS also we are going to learn how what are the different APS within the Azure uh, how to write a code within by using the Python and there are a lot of things that you're going to see so without wasting your time, uh, let me just introduce myself. Hi everyone, my name is Dharanak Parmar. Uh, my area of interest is in uh, application and code review, uh, application code review and cloud security. I'm more into Azure, but less into AWS, but not for now. We are going to also learn about AWS as well. But for now, this series, uh, I will be uh, instructing you about a lot of things within the Azure. Uh, rest, uh, I'm also a developer, uh, not a full-fledged developer, but the kind of backend developer that I know I'm experienced within the, with the PHP, Python, Node.js, Ruby la languages. Uh, I'm also an aut automation lover, which means I like to create scripts that can perform my automation scripts. I'm also a tool. I'm also author of a tool, uh, which is a name Vajra, which is an offensive security, uh, not security, what you can say attacking an enumeration tool within the cloud, uh, within the cloud platform, uh, for with, which contains multiple techniques of attacking the cloud. Uh, so let's begin. Uh, with the main topic about Azure infrastructure, what is Azure? What is what? How, what is its infrastructure looks like? So when I say about when I say Azure, uh, Azure is owned by Microsoft. Uh, if you have a user, if you have a Microsoft account, that means you have your own Active Directory. You can even get logged in within the Azure account as well. So when you have an Azure account, you have a tenant. So when I say tenant, so tenant is like having your own company let's say trouble one so if i create a tenant with name trouble one that that trouble one is the company which contains each and every component of your azure which which you are going to create uh, it doesn't matter where uh let's say if you're if you're creating a subscriptions resources services users groups anything that you are creating within your azure account is going to be beneath your tenant so tenant is the top uppermost layer of the azure infrastructure uh second thing is uh management groups so after tenant you have a management group uh actually there's another thing as well azure ad but azure ad is a different service which again lies with me uh, which is a part of the azure rm as well so with, but it's a different thing so we are going to talk about this later on so after tenant we have a management group so management group uh is the second most layer which contains all your subscriptions so these management management group uh, by default uh, there's a root management group and that root management group can have multiple child group as well and those child groups can have multiple subscription as well so let's say one management group name is hr one is uh, developer one is one is for staging production or xyz name and each resource each management group can have multiple subscription as well so let's say if i'm if i'm creating a user and i'm uh, giving some roles to that user to that specific management group so whatever subscription is within that uh, management group that user will have all the will automatically get permissions to all those subscription as well i'll explain this to you in the portal as well uh, next we have subscriptions so subscription is itself it it's what it says uh, let's say amazon prime or netflix or any other ott platforms so you pay an amount, let's say 500 rupees or 1000 rupees, you pay that amount and you get a one year subscription or one month subscription, right? But in cloud, it's the same, but you are going to pay for what you are, for what you are using. Let's say if I, if I say you in the Netflix, if you're watching a video for 10 days then you are going to pay for 10 days only, let's say, uh, the subscription price is 300 and per month, but we have only watched for five days. 
so that means that you're going that that means that you're going to pay for that specific five days only which is uh 50 rupees i guess yeah so in that way subscription has uh, we have multiple subscriptions that uh microsoft offers we have pay as you go we have free trial we have uh azure for students and there are a lot of the other subscriptions as well so free trial is like whenever you're creating a new account uh, uh and you're using a new press credit card then you will automatically going to get a new uh a free trial subscription where you are allowed to play around with the service services with a cost up to 200 dollars uh after that you have to go for pay as you go subscription which allows you to do any kind of st uh, stuff whichever you want even you can create anything whereas in free trial and the azure for students subscription it's limited you can only create specific services as, as only so that was about subscription you take a subscription and you only pay for how much you are using those computer services let's say if you are using a service let's say a vm you have launched a vm and you have only used that vm for one day so you are going to pay that vm for that one day only but you will get the cost a costing will be like around uh let's say five thousand rupees per month and you have only used for one day which is 24 hours so you're going to only pay for that 24 hours only so in that way subscription is what it, it is like having a subscription allows you to create services within the azure rm azure resources then we have resource groups which is the low uh where uh, uh with the last layer which contains all your services so resource group contains all your different services uh it, it there can there can be multiple resource group as well let's say resource group one two three or resource group vm uh database uh, uh storages on that way you can get uh, different resource groups and that specific resource group can have that those specific services as well so in this uh, diagram uh you can see we have uh, root management group uh, you have an active directory tenant so active directory tenant has a different uh ad roles uh the roles are different within the active directory and the roles within the rm which is this particularly uh, the blue box which has a different kind of roles uh we we call it as uh, rbac roles which is a uh, role based access control azure role based based access control so you can see we have a root management group which is by default you have we have under which you can create a parent uh, a child group under which you have a subscription which you have uh, created under which you have a resource group and under that you have all your services that you have created so let me show this uh to you with uh, from the portal point of view so here uh this is whenever you get logged in within the uh, portal.azure.com uh your portal will uh look something like this uh once you let me pull this out here so once you uh, click on here and go navigate to active directory so here is your active directory so this is the tenant uh, you have I, I i have my tenant id i have my tenant name which is the name of the tenant and the domain so <clears throat> so this is the domain name like like whenever you have a tenant you have three components uh, your name id and the domain so name was trouble one uh, which was my account basically so next you have your id and you have your domain so whatever email id is that you're going to create whatever users you're, that you are going to create uh let's say sham so sham at the rate trouble one dot on microsoft dot com so that's going to be the email id of this it can be changed you can make it your own custom domain as well uh, that, but that's a different case but by default is going to be in this way so that was the tenant which is the most upper uh, layer of your account uh, you can switch to multiple tenant as well let's say if i click here and then click on switch directory so here you can see i have uh, multiple tenant uh, here and i can click on switch and the whole whole like i'm switching from one com it's, it's like i'm switching from one company to the another company so all my subscriptions all everything will be changed so if, what the subscription which I, I can see right now i won't be able to see in this one because i don't have any subscription within these at, 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 uh, within these tenants so let me get go back to the home page which is uh, azure uh, resource manager so here uh, i can go to management groups you can just search for the management group as well here it is so now this you can uh, uh, in here you can see i have uh, a tenant group uh, which is a root group uh, under which i have just created a a, a child a child group you can say child management group under which i have my subscription here so i can even go to subscriptions by just searching for subscription click on it here you can see i have one subscription which i have uh, purchased 
if you want more you can just click on add uh, it will check for your eligibility and according to it will provide you all the available subscriptions so here you can see we have three options free trial pay as you go student for uh, azure for students and there are more uh, azure pass and there are a lot of subscriptions that you can have uh, so in that way uh, now if i click on this subscription uh, currently so you so this this is how it looks like so it's asking for the bill which is 0 0.97 rupees okay so let me go back to the management group so here if i click on test and let's assume this specific management or uh, this specific group has multiple rather than one sub subscription rather than this rather than this one i have multiple subscriptions so if i click on test and i click on access control and i click on add and role assignment then from here if i click on contributor or reader like let's say for now contributor so from here i can give access to any user uh, let me give a random user let's say okay this guy test uh, select uh, and then next and that's it so whatever and if i click on uh, review and assign it will automatically give, uh, assign this user within this test group so the thing is that now what will happen by just give by just giving the access to this specific group all this uh, the user will get all the roles all that specific role to all those subscriptions so it's not that you don't need to provide a, a, a specific a roles to dedicated subscriptions go, go to that specific subscription and add those users you can do it directly uh, then you have a subscription you are within the subscription and now uh, you can just go to any search for the resource search for the resource groups and here you can see i have already have a one resource group let me just create a new resource group let's say this resource group is going to be for my storage so let's say storage let's say my storage click on next review and create uh, validation passed let's click on create so assuming that uh, this resource group is going to have all my uh, storage services so one of the storage uh, services this uh, storage account so let me as you can see i already had one from here i can uh, choose my resource group uh, or i can even create a resource group uh, if i want to do that so it will automatically create a resource group and automatically going to add the service within that resource group i can provide a name let's say storage and make sure uh, this is the unique one because let's say if i if i just type storage so it will not allow me because your storage account is going to be have a dedicated domain so it's necessary that your domain should be a unique one next you can just right click click on review and once the validation is passed uh, you can just click on create and just after after within two seconds this will be get, will be created so this storage is a bit different uh, than the one you have in the aws uh, s3 bucket we say so s3 bucket is a bulb storage whereas this storage account does has that bulb storage but has uh, more more feature as well so uh, it's a bit different but it's also the same because it also has the container uh, thing as well i'll show this service uh, i'll talk about this service later on uh, but not for this uh, video so this is the issue it takes a lot of time to create so once it's done you can click on go to resource or let's first navigate to the home page so that you guys can understand so i'm here within my home page you can directly go to the resource groups click on the resource group click on your uh, this, uh, the name of a resource group and here you can see we have uh, one service which is the store which is the storage account and in, in the same way you can create multiple uh, service as well let's say vm uh, virtual machine so just click on this click on create apply uh, create a virtual machine and 
select your resource group well, let's say for now i'm selecting my resource group or maybe i can say uh, vms vms vm1 and just provide a, a vm let's say one vm okay and just then click on next 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 and it, it uh, your vm will be created so that was the uh, flow that was the way uh, resources and services have been distributed and, and, and how uh, it's been created so we are going to talk about uh, in bit more detail about we're going to get some more understanding about all these services some basic not basic but the most used services within the azure account azure rm service and uh, also going to see about the azure ad as well so for now uh, uh, i'll uh, for, for now we can stop here and we'll i'll see you in the next video